In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the recent release of Tangerine from Second Side Films here in the UK. This is the limited edition Blu-ray box set and I think this is a great film. As always, I'm going to hop over to my table now and we can have a proper good look at this set. So let's get on with it. So here is a closer look at Tangerine, a film by Sean Baker on the limited edition Second Sight Films Blu-ray set. And this is a great set. So we're going to get into a full unboxing in a minute, but I'll just talk briefly about the film itself and why it's worth watching. Now, I can't go into too much detail about it on YouTube because it is dealing with adult themes and there's a risk that in talking about this on YouTube, this video could get shadow banned and it wouldn't get promoted to all of my subscribers. But anyway, the film is set on Christmas Eve in Los Angeles, follows these two friends and one of them believes that their partner has cheated on them with someone so they go on this quest to find the partner and this other person they've cheated with and, you know, get some answers and perhaps, you know, a bit of revenge. Like I said, that's not giving too much away. If you want to read about what the film is fully about, then go and check up a synopsis online. It is a great film and I really admire Sean Baker as a filmmaker. His films hold a special place in my heart because one of the first films that my wife and I saw together at the cinema was The Florida Project back in 2017. And we've since saw his next film, Red Rocket, in the cinema last year. So we have both had a great time with Sean Baker's movies at the cinema, but I had never seen this one, Tangerine. One of the things that always gets brought up about this film is that it was shot entirely on an iPhone, which is quite impressive. But I believe the filmmakers don't really want the film to be known just for that. It was actually made on an iPhone, not as a gimmick, but out of necessity, which is something that Sean Baker talks about in the special features in this set. He was saying that the only way they could make this film was for $100,000 or less. Now, that sounds like an awful lot of money to you or I, personally, but for the production of a film, it actually doesn't go very far at all when you consider that you have to pay people's day rates, their wages, for months and months. That's why films get so expensive. It's often because you've got to pay people for the time they put in. Anyway, with all of that said, let's get into the unboxing of the limited edition Blu-ray. So you can see here that this is one of the hard cases that Second Sight Films has become known for using on their limited edition Blu-rays. And these are so nice. They look so great on the shelf. They are quite sturdy, very clean on the spine, no ratings, logos. And yeah, I always love getting these hard case boxes where the, the color and the artwork tends to wrap around. So it's quite seamless, which I always appreciate. As always, it comes with this uh, J card that wraps around, which has all of the information on the back. But you can, of course, peel this off, uh, which I'm going to do right now. So let me just take this from the back and then bring it round and just peel it off slowly. So there you go. That's it without the piece of paper on the front. And yeah, just a very clean release. A great one to either have in your shelf like this or to have on display like this. So the piece of paper that I've taken off here, it has a brief description of the movie. It has a list of the special features and the limited edition contents included in the case. That's the book and the art cards, which I'm going to show you right now. So first of all, there are some art cards and at the risk of repeating myself, uh, I do not like art cards because I don't really see um, much utility in these. I, I don't display them anywhere. So they always just stay inside the case. However, I'll show them for the people interested. Uh, this kind of art card, actually, I actually don't mind this kind of one because it's more of a poster. It's when it is the stills from the movie, which I, I don't really appreciate, uh, which we do have some of them here. So this is a still from the movie. I mean, it's a great shot, brilliantly colorful. And I think this is the one that the film is named after, really, the tangerine color 
in this shot. Um, it is a great looking film. Don't be put off just because it's shot on an iPhone because um, it does look great. Again, use of color in this film is very nice indeed, as you can see on these other art cards. Next up, we have the booklet. And as always, the way the Second Sight booklets are bound is very nice. It feels very professional. It doesn't just feel like an afterthought, which is always, always appreciated. Uh, the booklet is 55 or well, 56 pages long. And inside there, there are some production notes. So there's cast and crew. Um, but then it does get into the themes of the movie, the cultural relevance, talking about the social issues that are presented in the movie and their relevance today, and also looking at all of the themes and the issues in the context of Sean Baker's work as a whole. So there is so much to get into here after you've watched the movie. And then we come to the film itself on the Blu-ray disc. It's in this case, which, although it looks black on camera, it's quite a dark grey colour. And it's got the same artwork as is on the outside of the box. And it's got the same information on the back of here that was on the J card. And inside the case, we have the one Blu-ray with all of the special features and the movie itself. And it's worth noting at this point, it is a region B release. So you're going to need a region B player or a multi-region player to play this. So I've popped everything back in the case there. Let's have a little look at the special features. So I'm just going to have a look at them on the J card here, because I, I can't quite remember all of them off the top of my head from when I watched the disc. Um, there's an audio commentary, yes, with Cerise Howard and Rohan Spong, which is a great audio commentary for the people that love audio commentaries, which I imagine is quite a lot of people that buy. Uh, boutique Blu-rays. There is The Making of Tangerine, which has kind of a behind-the-scenes look at how the film was made. There is a new interview with director Sean Baker, which I found fascinating. I love listening to uh, Sean speak. He's uh, very articulate, and he's clearly very passionate about the filmmaking process. And it's worth noting that Sean is a Blu-ray collector himself, because I always see on Instagram and on Letterboxd, him talking about the latest boutique Blu-rays that he's picked up and has been watching. So I know he's a big fan of genre cinema, Italian cinema, and I know that he has a great passion for film posters and collecting the original movie posters. So because of his love for the physical media, he has been a huge part in putting this release together. And it really shows because he was able to get so many of the people involved in this movie back together to talk about this film on these special features, which I'm about to go through now. So in the rest of the special features, there's a whole list of interviews uh, with the actors. So there are four interviews with the various actors in the movie. There is a new interview with the cinematographer, a new interview with the writer, an interview with the producer and another interview with one of the other producers. So there is a ton of interviews with the cast and crew there to sink your teeth into. There is a camera test for the movie, and then there is also a great feature from Kat Ellinger, who many boutique Blu-ray collectors will know from her brilliant commentaries on uh, Blu-ray discs. So she has done a feature on the cinema of Sean Baker. So that about covers everything in this limited edition collector's box set for Tangerine, a movie by Sean Baker. I think it's a great film, and I'm very glad to add it to my collection of Sean Baker films. I think he's a great director, like I said. He clearly loves cinema, and he's very passionate about it. And that passion comes through in his films. I think I've managed to cover everything on this set in this video, but if there's anything you have questions about, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Anyway, I'm going to throw it back to myself in the studio. If you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the limited edition Tangerine set, then click the video that's presented on screen right now. You can get some further recommendations in that video from me. 
Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.